Looking ahead, some folks here in the Grand Strand will soon have to start being a little more mindful of their neighbors when they head out on the sand. That's right. Our Julia Richardson joins us in the studio to break down what folks won't be able to do later this week and also sharing why some folks don't mind these seasonal restrictions. Tell us more, Julia. Well, Eric and Rachel, from tomorrow until Labor Day, you will not be able to ride your bikes or bring your pets to any beaches between 10 in the morning and 5 in the afternoon. Now, some local dog owners are not as disappointed as you would imagine, tell me, telling me they're both familiar with the rule and they understand the reasons behind it. She loves the beach. She loves people. Mary Shalomini and Amber Needham tell me they always bring their dog Dolly to the beach with them, but sometimes fear for her safety in large crowds. One of the many reasons these restrictions take effect each year. So you have a greater risk of possibly hitting somebody with your bicycle or your animal, maybe having a, uh, a, a bad side effect to having or being around a, a large group of people. Beach Patrol Officer John Lively says UV rays can also sometimes be too intense for animals during these hours, something Chalamini and Needham corroborate. It's all about the safety of the fur babies and, you know, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. the sun rays are way too hot for her or any fur babies. Although these rules have been in place for several years, officers tell me it can be difficult to get everyone on the same page. Even our locals, sometimes they forget what day it is. You know, a lot of people move down to the beach just to kind of let go of time. Um, so we like to go ahead and inform all of our public. Um, and then, like you said, we have a lot of tourists that come down and, and they have no idea about our ordinances. Because of this, Lively tells me officers will start with verbal warnings, but breaking these rules is considered a misdemeanor and carries a more than $250 fine. We always seek verbal compliance, but sometimes we have to use our discretion professionally and, and see how the situation pertains, and sometimes it, it might be the appropriate action to cite somebody for it, but hopefully it never comes to that. And Lively also wants to remind people that open flames, glass bottles, and any type of alcohol is also prohibited on the beaches. Starting on Memorial Day, only circular umbrellas of specific dimensions will be allowed as well. Live in the studio, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.